Hi everybody, it's Tea with Al Dente Diva and today I have an absolutely incredible side dish to share with you. Spinach gratin is creamy, it's cheesy, and it's really easy to make. One thing you want to make sure about the spinach is that you dry it really, really well. So after it's thawed in a colander, put it on a dish towel and wring it out really, really well. You want as much water out of the spinach as you can possibly get out. Make sure you don't skip this step because it's a very important one for this recipe. Now you're going to get a large skillet and melt that butter in there. And while the butter's melting, you're gonna chop up one large onion. Doesn't really matter what size you chop them, just make sure they're all relatively the same size so they cook evenly. And once they're ready, you're gonna add them to that melted butter. Now we're gonna let these saute on low heat. And it's a perfect time to chop that garlic up. If six cloves of garlic seems too much for you, that's fine to pull it back a little bit. I just know that my family can handle that much garlic, but if yours prefers less, that's fine. Just put less in there. Now, once the onions are getting nice and soft, that's the perfect time to add the garlic. You don't need to cook this for that much longer. Just saute it until the garlic is nice and fragrant. And now it's time to add the flour in. Stir it in and cook it for a couple minutes. You just want to get that harsh flour taste out of there. And add the nutmeg, salt, and pepper. Give everything a good mix. And slowly add the milk to it. Turn the heat up until you just start seeing bubbles like this start to form. Now turn the heat down to a simmer, stirring occasionally. Cook it for about 10 minutes. Now add all that dried spinach to it and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now for the cheese. The cheese is the best part if you ask me. And by the way, if you can't find Gruyere, you can always use Swiss, it's the same family. Just take a small handful of both the cheeses combined and add it to the skillet. Mix everything up until it's really well combined and I have to tell you, it smells amazing already. Take a baking dish and spray it with some cooking spray and add the spinach mixture right into it. And just smooth everything evenly out into the edges with a spoon. Add the rest of the shredded cheese to the top until it looks like that. And you're gonna pop it in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, it's gonna look like this. So, so good. Doesn't that look incredible? I told you it was gonna be the perfect holiday side. I hope you guys give it a try at your table this year.